I'm Dr. Anthony Claudio, board certified psychiatrist. This video, I'm going to talk to you about Lucavorin, which was recently talked about to be approved for the treatment of autism. I'm going to talk to you about how Lucavorin works, what its indications are up until this point, and then also as a psychiatrist, what we often see in autism patients that they need mental health treatment for. Now, up until this point, Lucavorin is pretty much used in oncology cases or in situations related to folate. Folate is also known as vitamin B9, and it's something the body produces a little amount of it on its own, but it needs to get nutrients, such as from green leafy vegetables or liver, to help make more folate in the body. And then oftentimes there's a supplement like folic acid, which one can take, which is converted to folate through biochemical pathways in the body. Now this notion of Tylenol use in pregnancy causing autism, generally Tylenol is considered to be safe to use in pregnancy, but at high doses, it can cause some harms to the fetus. What those harms are exactly, it's not sure. And whether it's the Tylenol itself that's causing the harm, or perhaps it's the pain, or if there's a fever or some physical condition for which the mother is taking the Tylenol with to begin with, perhaps that is implicated in whatever deficits the baby may be born with. Either way, the maternal environment is very precious and the environment that the baby grows in, it's really important for that to be a healthy environment. There are certain anemic conditions in the blood where people can get anemic due to folate deficiency and leucovorin can be used to help treat that. Basically what leucovorin does, it increases the body's response to folate and it's used mostly in cancer conditions. Like it's used for colorectal cancer, for anemia related to folate deficiency. And then also leucovorin is often used in conjunction with methotrexate because methotrexate basically can kill cells from decreasing its folate synthesis. And so this is important in like cancer cells because methotrexate can prevent cancer cells from growing, but also methotrexate can prevent healthy cells from growing too. And so adding leucovorin to that can actually help the healthy cells to grow normally. Now, when it comes to mental health, folate is thought to play an important role, especially in early development because folate is very important in a lot of biochemical synthesis and pathways. Folate in particular is important in formation of the brain and spinal cord and in developing fetus and baby. And if there's not enough folate, that can lead to permanent damage in the fetus and baby. Oftentimes when women take prenatal vitamins during the pregnancy, there's going to be supplemented with folic acid because folate is so important in the growth and nurturance of the child. So how does this correlate with autism? Well, one of the hallmarks of autism is impairments in social communication or social interactions and various aspects of life. And I'm not sure any medication is going to prevent that. If some of the cells in the brain or body are not taking folate and adding leucovorin can help that, then that would be great. But as far as some of the social interactions and communication, that often is best treated through therapy approaches, in particular a therapy approach called applied behavioral analysis or ABA therapy. When people with autism seek mental health treatment, it's typically due to problems with anxiety or problems with aggression. Because people with autism don't perceive the world and the environment like most other people do. They can be a little bit more sensitive to their surroundings or their environment. And so they may get more prone to anxiety or more prone to aggression. And so there are medications in particular that are FDA approved to treat aggression in autism, like Risperidol and Abilify. Now, I talk about those medications in previous videos. For anxiety, it's often treated the same way as anyone else has anxiety. Just, it's important to keep in mind that maybe autism people may get more easily anxious than people in the normal population. With that being said, I'm not really sure why Leucovorin is being approved for autism treatment. The data is not that conclusive for that. However, autism is categorized as a neurodevelopmental disorder. And so in that aspect, 
maybe adding folate can help with the neurodevelopment in these types of people.